Mobile was uh, most attractive for the Oconee County Quarry because of the versatility and because of the ability for us to be able to work at the face. And ultimately, when we get our quarry in a position to accept the equipment that we have, we can accommodate the customers there and it's going to decrease the amount of trucking and equipment necessary to give the customer what they need. The design on this plant allowed us uh, the ability to grow too. Each of those models were considered for growth and to be able to network with other pieces that may come into the puzzle. We have a UJ640 jaw. It's a massive structure, the machine there at the face. It's producing so quickly. It is just a very massive mobile unit that, with very little vibration. The design of it has been in such a way that all of the vibration is absorbed through the track system. And with it being upsized and not having to work as hard as it, uh, you would normally think a jaw would have to work, it just uh, methodically does its work without very much effort. We wanted about 650 tons an hour, which was gonna more than double what we make now and we feel like that uh, there's 850 there in the future. The jaw feeds into our secondary US550E that is a gyratory cone that will accept a 15 inch minus feed size. After the uh, secondary cone, we move into the uh 550 E, which is our tertiary cone. What we like about our cones as well is they have a screener box on each one of them. So we actually have the ability that we can make a product there at the cones. We don't even have to push it forward to our screeners. And so that gives us even that much more versatility. After we leave that tertiary cone, we go into a splitter device that actually is on the back of two QA441Es. And that splitter actually splits our product from the H into both of those screens and gives us the versatility of making two different types of sand, a 57 and 789s all at once. After it leaves the QA441Es, we go to three 80-foot stackers, and that gives us uh, about a 6,000-ton capacity at each stockpile that we can uh, decrease our amount, that we have to move the product. We can actually sell from there. Each machine speaks to the other and lets it know what's going on. And the uh, ASRI system has been very impressive with the ability to watch the different points of wear and bearing temperatures and pressures and lubrication temperatures. And we can monitor all that through this system and it allows us to make sure that we're staying on top of the machines like we need to and making sure that we have uh, less downtime because of maintenance needs. Sandvix technology was on the cutting edge and they make a very durable, strong product. Uh, they take a lot of pride in what they do. They've been above and beyond our expectations on their quality control and just how they do business.